I can film there. Hey guys, welcome back to BGC Dreams. This is Jay, and I'm standing in front of Southeast Asia's very first Jordan store. In the past few vlogs, I mentioned the importance of location, location, location as it comes to real estate. And lately, we've been getting some really great comments from viewers who also feel the same way. And that's really great to see. As you guys might know, my own personal preference with location in BGC is the uptown area. But by no means does that mean there's no other areas within BGC that are also fast rising and booming. Today, I'm standing here in High Street South, another area that's quickly coming to life in BGC. And I just really wanted to give you guys a quick tour of the area and all the latest developments. On the topic of location and the importance of it, I just wanted to tie it together and share a story about my past and some of the things that I learned from my own experiences. As you guys might know from the last vlog when I talked about buying my first real estate investment property back in 2012, um, to expand on that, I actually won a property that was an attached single family home. So you could say it wasn't the most desirable house. Looking back, I actually had to put in a lot of capital to get it rent ready and the neighborhood itself wasn't the absolute greatest, but it was still contained in the Silicon Valley region, which I knew was going to be something beneficial over the long run. So as real estate investors, I know it's very easy to nitpick things and dive into the finer details in the heat of the moment. But sometimes you have to take a look back and for myself, just realizing that the first home I purchased was still in Silicon Valley. It turned out it was the right move to kind of be a little more aggressive and to make sure that I close the deal. When it comes to BGC, I know it's very easy to nitpick things and it's human nature to get into heated discussions and debates, uh, going over the finer points and nuances. But really, if you take a step back and look at the grander scheme of things, BGC on the whole is such a vibrant and world-class modern city. You really can't go wrong no matter where you are. Just check out all these restaurants coming. The Bistro Group is arriving soon. Now I'm standing in front of the East Place Gallery, which is a residential condo building, and it's a flagship project of Ayala Land Premier. And for me, it was really crazy to see that even in a place such as this, which is basically the Sochal of the Sochal, or the finest of the finest when it comes to residential condo units in BGC, you would have new unit owners that were more than willing to swap out the stock materials that came standard with the builds. To me, it only goes to show that the individual units themselves are really not that important because you can always swap out what's inside. But again, when it comes to location, that is of paramount importance because it's something you will never be able to change. So yeah, just to hammer home the point again, when it comes to BGC, I don't think you can really go wrong with location, whether we're talking about in Uptown or here in High Street South or basically anywhere else, it's always gonna be premier sought after prime real estate if it's enclosed within the BGC bubble. And when it comes to location, I do have one other interesting story I wanna share with you guys. I found out many years later, I actually have an auntie in Hong Kong who was an early investor in the New Territories region. At the time when she made the purchase, I forget if it was the 1970s or 80s, she bought her condo unit for no more than $60,000 USD. And fast forward to the here and now, and that condo unit is probably north of $1 million USD. And once I got older and got into real estate for myself, I remember my mom sharing these stories with me in more details. And one thing she told me that was when her sister first bought the condo unit in Hong Kong, she actually received a lot of flack because there were so many non-believers who never thought the new territories would amount to anything because it was kind of off in the distance and kind of like farmland or very remote from the rest of Hong Kong. And years later, once the subway was completed or MTR as it's known in Hong Kong, it pretty much connected the entire region together and everyone benefited since property appreciation kind of went astronomical after that. When it comes to the Philippines, I do really believe that we're in the very early stages of rapid accelerated economic growth. And BGC to me is kind of ground zero where all of this is happening. Now I do realize that condo prices in BGC have soared a lot over the past few years. And I by no means can guarantee that the same thing that happened for Hong Kong will apply here in the future. But it's nice to know that there is a subway in the Philippines that's under development. It's coming sooner than later. And if you can't afford BGC, by no means does it imply that you can't find other very worthwhile real estate projects and development. 
um, especially once the subway gets here, it's probably going to be a total game changer and it will help connect the NCR region and the Philippines as a whole. When in doubt, it's all about location, location, location. With BGC, you really just can't go wrong. And that's all for this episode of BGC Dreams. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel below. I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, ingat.